welcome back. Clairvoyant I am because I am clairvoyant. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm just going to light my incense. clear my energy space so I can get these messages to you guys today but anyway I was in my prayer room this morning you guys and I was in there channeling and getting all my downloads and calling in my angels and calling in my guides because that's what I do I'm an energy reader and I'm an energy healer and the Lord gave me a beautiful verse it's 2 Samuel twenty-two thirty-three. 33 it is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. Yes, indeed. Isn't that so promising? But yeah, like I said, I was just in there channeling and getting all my downloads. And right now in the cosmos, we are in full moon Libra energy, you guys. And this brings in a lot of balance and a lot of harmony and just so good. And that's why we have the scale uh, for Libra zodiac sign, but it also gives individuals an opportunity to do full moon spell work. And the Lord gave me a vision that this type of spell work is absolutely going on. And these people are, that are doing this, it's called death spells. And death magic spells is just a type of potent sorcery magic used to create the death of something or someone to move forward freely in their life. You know, it's all it means. It doesn't actually mean like death. But the Lord showed me that individuals are going out to cemeteries and getting grave dirt and putting grave dirt into mason jars and they're writing names down on pieces of paper and they're sticking the names down in the mason jar and they're putting more grave dirt on top of the names and then they're sealing it tight at you know the mason jar they're sealing them tight and then they're taking uh, candles and they're burning candle wax on top of the mason jar to even seal it even further and then they're walking it back out to cemeteries and they're just burying it down in the cemetery dirt and that's exactly what the Lord showed me so I had to go and look up the signs of death magic so you can become aware and I came up with the top five signs so number one is your plans keep getting canceled or postponed number two an overwhelming feeling of great sadness or regret. Suddenly, it just overcomes you all at once. Just a great depression, and you don't know why, and you can't, you can't shake it, no matter what you've tried. Number three, an unexpected job loss, or maybe you get terminated without notice. Number four, you start to experience a lot of personal injuries such as burns or bruises, scrapes, cuts, or even possibly some type of food poisoning. And number five is unexpected and unexplained seizures and convulsions without a medical reason. So yeah, those are the top five signs of death magic spells. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do about it, okay? And also, I channeled some letters. If this is your first, middle, or last name initials, then this message is definitely for you because the Lord showed me these. Okay? So, yeah, first and foremost, you need to absolutely get in your prayer life. And I can't stress this enough, you guys. Just pray that powerful hedge of protection prayer over you and over your family, over your children, over your whole vegetation, over your pets, just over your property. And you can also fast. And you can pray in the morning when you get up and then just fast for the next three hours. Uh, you can have water and coffee and tea as long as you don't put sugar or creamer in your coffee or tea and it's fine. And then after the first three hours, just go 
normal about your day and you know then you can eat or whatever but I promise you you guys that works so well and I'm also going to give you another great tip of what you can do about it so you might want to pause this video or get a pen and paper and jot this down but what you're going to do is you're going to take two cups of purified water and you're going to put it in a glass bowl or a ceramic bowl and you're going to take two bay leaves and two tablespoons of turmeric powder and two tablespoons of sea salt and two tablespoons of cinnamon. Now, if you are allergic to cinnamon, as many people are, you can use cayenne pepper instead of the cinnamon. They recommend the cinnamon, but um, you can use cayenne pepper instead, and it works just as fine. Or if you don't have the cinnamon powder, you can use cayenne pepper or vice versa. But you're just gonna take this mix and you're just going to put it in your front entranceway of your door all night long inside your home all night long leave it there all night long okay and then in the morning when you wake up go ahead and get you a zip tie bag and take the bay leaves out and zip them up real good and tight and take that shit off your property you do not want that in on left on your property and so then the, the rest of the mix, all you're going to do is flush it down your toilet and then with your own good intentions and own good energies, go ahead and wash and cleanse and clear all that stuff out of that bowl. And But don't be putting this stuff down in your sink drain, you guys. Absolutely flush it down your toilet. There was a lady that um, emailed me yesterday, actually. She lives in Sweden now, but uh, she was from... Uh, originally from Tanzania and she said yes they absolutely did this but what they did with their mix is they put it in the river and washed their bowls out in the river because you know they didn't have um, toilet facilities when she grew up in Tanzania so but yeah these are the great tips that I have for you guys today and please hit that like because when you hit that like button it helps me pick up on your energies and I can get these messages to you guys so much sooner. And also, please share this video out. Somebody absolutely needs to hear it. Please comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I am here for you. And if you have any questions, just comment below or email me. But I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.